everyone welcome back to my channel my name is bob Kiss. how you doing welcome to today's class and if today is your first time of checking out this channel please subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified each time we put up a video yeah and you can check out my other channel blocky signatures and blocky's kitchen yeah you can follow me on instagram blocky signatures and on facebook sewing innovation so this class is going to be on how to draft a bustier pattern and trust me this is the easiest thing ever so i just have like a half pattern here as you can see how to form this beautiful sweetheart neckline can you see the boss coming out so well can you see that so that's what we'll be talking about today the most important thing you need for this tutorial is your basic bodies pattern which i have a tutorial on and now we'll put the link in the description box below if this is your first time of checking out my channel you're welcome and in the right place please make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell so right now let's get started here i have both my back pattern and front pattern on the paper this is the center back as you can see and the center front now the first thing is let's start with the front panel and i'm making use of my of a contrasting marker the first thing you need to do is you need the, your bust radius and in determining your bust radius you need the measurement from the nape of your neck to under your bust that is where your bra stops for instance from this pattern here this is the nape of the neck so to your bust point i'm making use of a plus size pattern here my plus size mannequin so this is it for a bust point it is or a bust level 11 and a half then a honda bust is 15 inches can you see that the bust point is 11 and a half why this is 15 so how you have to do to get your bust radius is to deduct your bust level measurement from your honda the bust measurement so for her that will be three and a half which is one two three and a half I'm right so to make it easier you could just mark a straight line there or let us just form a circle three and a half you could use a compass for that but for those that don't have a compass this method is easier Here I have my bust radius, so you could just, you know, connect it. So if you have a compass, this will save you the stress. So having inserted the bust radius, then we can quickly finish it off. Now, we have to contour this point. That is because this upper part is going off and you need it to be fitted at the upper part or else it's going to gape, which you don't want. That is opening up your boobs, but we want it firm on the upper part. So all you have to do is this. Measure whatever the distance you have here at the upper part and then this same amount is what you are going to take off on both sides of the of the that so since that is one inch we just do half an inch on both sides can you see that So we are done with that the next thing to do is to come to this lower part that is the under bust area and also take in some darts there 
that is to get up the excess fabric that is going to be around your on the bust and that depends on how bossy you are if you are not too busty for a small size person you could just take quarter inch after the dart remember the dart passes through it so quarter inch here quarter inch here but for a plus size you take half an inch on both sides then connect from that point to the waistline you can have these in half scale and in full scale depending on your preference so can you see what we have there just have that perfect shape now let's quickly talk about the neckline so I'm still going to come to this lower part because except you want it straight to your hip but for your top you still want it to be a little bit higher than your hip which is totally optional so having done that for the back panel what I will do is this it is advisable to come down one and quarter from this arm side depth one and quarter which is here and there you need to square it up a little before making the curve Also, on the handhold region here, I would advise you to come down by half an inch because you don't want it exactly at your armpit area. You still want to come down by half an inch. You see, you're going to connect from this dart here, the dart leg here, straight to the half an inch we came down by to have the perfect. You see, and also here, so we have a neckline formed. Then here you can decide to have it straight. If you have it, if you want it straight, that means you're just going to square it up from the other dart leg and have something straight. Though I want a sweetheart neckline, but let me just explain that. My pencil is showing. So if you want it straight, you have something like this. So perfect can you see how that went but in case you want a sweetheart neck it depends on how deep you want it to be it could be even deeper into your bust point here it depends on your preference so I'm just going to do one inch upward from the arm side depth I would even prefer it being deeper. So can you see how beautiful that is? Since we are done now, let's quickly go to the lower parts. And lastly, for the back, what I will do is to go in quarter inch on both sides here because you want it to be fitted to to avoid any loose fabric and connect it straight to the dart so that's good so here is already fitted because we contoured it here here and also the back so you won't have any gaping at all 
now let us now determine how high we want to come up from the heap let's just do at least three and a half or three inches that totally depends on your preference as i've said so three inches here for the front then since i came up by three inches here what i would do is to come up here by three and a half or three three quarter first you square it up See, they are so beautiful. Coming up from here to three inches. We are still going to do some fitting at the back. And here, the same thing three and three quarter because everything has to match. good as done now for the back we also want you know when you want a snatch waist we also want the back here the zipper region to be fitted and this also ranges in your size if you are a small size person quarter inch is okay from the waist area and for a plus size person just make use of half an inch all this is essential for fitting. So I'm just going to connect that straight up key. About one third of your ham side depth. And this straight to the hip. So we're as good as done. Now let's cut it all out. We are still going to pieces this off. Okay, let's finish it. Then another thing, high coming up by three inches from the hip area, that's totally optional. You could just have this straight down here. And in case you are having it to your hip region, what you will do is to reconnect the darts. Can you see? from the waist straight to the hip that's what you're going to do so that is it if you're having your top straight to your hip Once it's straight, you cut it straight.
what the bust tape pattern looks like this is the front this is the back can you see the neckline so wonderful and the sweetheart neck you could have this straight the next thing i'm going to do is to just have the seam allowance all around the pattern this is what the pattern with seam allowance looks like all i did was to have half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern to have these beautiful pieces in my next class i will be sewing it up for you to see how it looks on my plus size mannequin so i remain your girl blue keys bye for now i love you guys